So this time I tried uh, turning the pump down so it's not flowing as much. And we're just starting the siphon. And we'll see what happens this time. And, and it also makes a louder sound. That's true, it does. So we still got a good siphon started. Any difference here? Uh, well, the the adding the T to break the whirlpool effect uh, did not help with breaking the siphon. Um, and the only difference between this one and the last video uh, is the speed of the pump. Pump's running at about um, two thirds, maybe a half of the flow it was. I've turned it down almost all the way. It'll go. Now, depending on what I decide to do. I may end up uh, just doing a constant flow model. The good news is if I do a constant flow, um, all I need to do is take uh, take my bell off and no, leave it on. All I need to do is take take my bell off and uh, that way the water will come up to the level of the standpipe and just drain. Constant flow, you need to turn the pump up really high because you need lots of water rushing through there to replenish the oxygen. The, the uh, bell siphon, or ebb and flow is what, what you call, call it with a bell siphon, um, replenishes the oxygen by just changing out the water constantly. Okay, we're almost to the level. Let's see if, see if it breaks the siphon. See if it breaks it. See if it breaks. And there it went. Yes. All right. Well, that's good news. We're gonna. We're not gonna call it finished yet, though, because we want to let it run through that a couple of times. Because I already had one, had it break the siphon once, and thought I had it all figured out. But uh, this is definitely good news.